record this, yeah. Yeah, yeah. The e-course was very hokey, and it, it was a very smart choice, you know, and very creative. So the most I is going to very easy on the board just for all the work she's done. So you're doing a great job. Um, and I respect it, too. And But that, you know, I know you're, you're a father, right? You're a parent. Yeah, so yeah. This makes it easier, and you're in a you have a good mindset. So I'll, this leads to my question. Okay, so I just finished college, and, okay. right? I'm still in Babylon, and the most I said you have to flee, right? And now, you know, my parents want me to go even to more more school, right? To do physical therapy, but you know, you know, with the whole brick system and all that stuff happening. I kind of, uh, I don't want to stay here and the destruction coming out of nowhere and I, I, I turn free or have regrets. So do you have any advice? Because my What's your age? 23. 23. Okay, man, all praises, all praises. I'm glad that the Most High put on my heart to, you know, have that understanding and wisdom to know, like, um, you know, what's what's really going on. So it's hard to say, you know, come, coming into this truth and, you know, you're still living in your parents' house um, and things like that. So for me personally, you know, when when I turned 18, I was on my own. You know, I met my, my wife and everything. So we've been on our own pretty much. Didn't really have to, you know, get permission to, you know, leave. But I would say if you really, if, if, if the Most High is telling you to do something, if the Most High is pulling you towards something, you got to do it. You have to do it. Um, you know, that's going to that's gonna come with a lot of, you know, disagreements. It's going to come with a lot. But if you if your heart is truly for the most high, you know, you really got to, you know, face those disagreements and know what the most high is telling you and what what he's trying to lead you to. Yeah. This leads me to another question, if you don't mind. I know the mm -hmm. e-course has the financial video. I confess I didn't finish watching it yet. But what how much money do you think is enough to survive, to be comfortable over there? Because I know the US currency converting it to there would be more, right? Yeah. So how much money do you think I would have to save? Um because I there was a moment where it's like, I'm not gonna lie, you know, you, you can't be saying too many things, but there came a point where it's just my parents are like wondering, what are you going to do, right? In terms of after college. And I said, well, mama, there's this thought of me going back home. And she said, what are you talking about going back home? I said, yeah. you know, this is Babylon, right? And my dad's like, Babylon. What are you talking about? And I said, mama's like, you, you listen to those Israelite groups that get to your head, you're crazy. And until the minute I said, the mom of the motherland, I said to go back there. My dad's like, what are you going to do over there? You see, you just you, you do some stupid stuff. This guy started saying like it's 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 not smart. Why are you gonna? That's a crazy idea. Little does he know that if you live over there, you have land and stuff. Yeah. You could live better. Is, is, is your parents from America, New York? They're from Haiti. Okay, I was because I, I can definitely pick up like an accent. So accent? Like, oh, oh. Yeah, a little bit, a little bit, yeah. Um. Yeah, that's that's tough, man. That's tough. That's tough. Yeah, man. Um, I know you're 23. You know, you about. I mean, you're you're a grown man, so you really got to make your own decisions. I'm not sure how your life is, but, but um, that's what it is. That's that's really what it is. You really got to make your own decisions. Um, but at the same time, don't cause them to. Start trying to me back. Yeah, yeah. Cause it's 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 gonna be tough. Like it's it's hard for me to explain, but it's that's that's the only thing I can say. It's gonna be tough. But if you truly want to do this, you gotta do it. Um, you know the the Most High He choose. You know it's it's His chosen people, the the few. You know those really? that, that that one third, third. So you know if you really truly seeking Him, there's there's no problem over here. Um, you know for us, we've been here three years. And he's been taking care of us, you know, family of seven. So it's like, man, everything so if you really see everything's gonna be good. Um, like I say, it's 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 hard for me to say because I don't know your situation. I don't wanna be that voice of like, 
uh, you know, going against your parents. Mm -hmm. But I'm just telling you, you and your heart, and what the most high turns you. So that's my advice to if you really want to compete, you got to do it. You got to do it. You, you definitely see what's going on around the world. Um, and once you step out on that faith and really try to just keep moving with that faith and keep moving, that, that's the main thing. You got to keep moving. So if you're speaking about it, don't tell nobody. If you're really going to do it, don't tell nobody. Just do it. And keep moving, keep moving. And the Most High is just going to continue blessing you because you're seeking Him. You're, you're, you're really moving off of that faith. So, you know, that's that, that's my advice for that. Um, okay. Um, that's, that's hard to say. Because if it's just you, and that's 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 why I actually wish you uh, your your skills and your talents, because it's the it's it's better to start something in the states, you know, start a business, uh, something that you're gonna make, you know, revenue every month, something that you're gonna make some money off of every month. So monthly, just for you, just just for one person, you know, a male, um, depending on your lifestyle. Um, I can say like a one bedroom, uh, you know, fully furnished, I would say maybe monthly would probably be, you know, maybe 250 to $500, put it like that. Um, so I'm, I'm kind of just going to break it down. Um, so that's for like housing. And usually you have to pay three months at a time, six months at a time, or a year at a time. So it depends how much money you really have. Um, but I'm just trying to break down monthly costs. Um, so like food and stuff, that's really not expensive. It just depends on what you eat. If you like going out to restaurants, it's going to be more expensive. Um, but if you like, you, you say you like to cook. So I'm pretty sure, you know, fruits and vegetables and just like little ingredients and stuff, just going to the market is very cheap. Like here, actually, I, I have to go shopping after this call. So I'm a breakdown of what I shop. So for a family of seven, you know, I would go to the market and here it goes by ki like kilograms. So mm -hmm. we'll go to the market, you know, just say we need uh, carrots, we need, you know, potatoes, uh, you know, onions, uh, tomatoes, um, just, just little things like that. And that would cost me maybe not even 15,000 T shillings. So 15,000 T shillings is maybe what seven, seven US dollars. And that's, that's maybe for a whole week. So it just depends. <gasps> on how much you, yeah. Yeah. It's, it's very cheap. And it, it really depends on which market I go to too. So I found a market where I can go and spend that amount of money. So I just keep going there, keep going there. And it's, it's a little bit harder because you have to know the right people. So it's like like that. Of course, they got big markets. Of course, they got grocery stores that you can go to. It's going to be more, a little bit more expensive. So the grocery stores, I would say, um, you have to pay probably double that price. So thirty thousand, maybe forty thousand, which is like fifteen to twenty dollars, you know, um, for like vegetables, you know, mm. I, fruits and vegetables. So really, I sum it up to like twenty thousand, which is like ten dollars. And that's really like I'll say three to four days, depending on how much my children eat. <laughs> so, because <laughs> um, usually we we try to get like the best quality, or mm -hmm. yeah, most quality of stuff. So I'll say like three thousand, and that's like that's on the high end, like a kilogram, and you know that would feed my family for a couple of days. So for you, I know you know it it, it definitely would be a little bit cheaper for you. Um, what else? Just say, like, if you want to, like, transport. You know, they have motorcycles here. They have bujajis. Um, just depending on how, how much you move around, is is it's really not that expensive. I'll say the most expensive part is, you know, taking care of where you're going to stay. Um, and, like, say, it might be up to $500 for, like, one bedroom. And that's that's really, like, a nice place where... Maybe it's fully furnished. You know, you got your toilet that you want where you can sit down. You don't got to squat. Um, just like little squat. things like, yeah, you got it. Yeah, you got it. Yeah. <laughs> it's <laughs> different toilets here. So that's why I say it's better to get the high quality stuff because locals, 
um, they do they do live pretty cheap. Just say for a local a month, uh, they can survive off of like less than a hundred thousand T shillings, which is maybe around fifty dollars a month. And that's with like eating, that's with you know, living, just everything. Really? Yeah, but that's local. That's very, very local. That's like local, local. So I would say um for for us, that that's why I just push it up to five hundred. You know, just keep five hundred in your mind. I know that's uh, cheaper cheaper than the states for sure. Like one day. Oh yeah, most definitely, bro. Yeah, yeah. You from New York, so I know you like dang. And one inflation. Day. Yeah. And inflation too. When when I heard you say seven dollars for groceries, ten dollars, I'm like, what for yeah. all of that? That's, exactly. That's nice. So it's it's definitely cheaper over here. Um. So to to answer your question, I'll say for like a whole year. Just for yourself, um, look. Please, please don't quote me, but I say twelve to fifteen thousand USD. If you want to, you know, just just come here and and live and survive, maybe a year. You know, you really have to be tight with it, but um, you know, I, I believe that you can do that. Just just yourself, just just yourself. Um, and if you want to like start a business and go through that process, I'll bump it up to like twenty thousand USD. Why are you gonna get a citizenship for for Haiti for? So I'm gonna have to figure it out on my own. Though. I'll yeah. figure it. Out. That, that's another thing. If you're from the Caribbean, you, that's visa free. Um, I'm not sure how the process goes. Just say if you want to, um, you know, start a business or anything like that. The main thing is coming over here and having that USD coming in. Because if you have that USD coming in, your life is going to be easy. Um, and then you could probably start a little small business if you want to, you know, cook some things and, and sell to the locals. You have to sell to the locals at a, um, I, I'll say, at a lower price than USD. So you have to sell to them at a, a local price. How much to start a business? Uh, to, to get your business license mm -hmm. is 500 usd so mm -hmm. you get your license that's 500 then you have to get your your work permit which is uh 2500 so that's mm -hmm. 3000 and then your residency uh no 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 i'm sorry let, let me backtrack 500 thousand t shillings for the business license mm -hmm. so 500 t shillings that's 250 dollars for the business license then your your work permit which is kind of backwards to me, but you gotta get your work permit first, which is two thousand five hundred. So that's two thousand uh, seven hundred and fifty. And then when you get your residency, uh, I'm not sure how that goes with you know being in front of Caribbean and Haiti, Jamaica and stuff. I'm not sure how that goes. It might be like a little. It might be a little bit easier for you guys, um, but for the work or the residency, that's that's three thousand. 3,000 USD. Mm -hmm. So that's a total of, what, 5,750? Mm -hmm. um, yeah. So that's that's every... So if you do that, you know, you'll have to pay that every two years. So, Dude, what about buying land? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, of course. Yeah, we, so we brought land. Um, well, we went through... Um, a local. So the first time we bought land, it was twelve hundred, so one thousand two hundred U.S. dollars for an acre, and that was like maybe a, a hour and a half, maybe two hours away from this city. So that was one thousand two hundred USD for an acre. Um, but we decided not to, you know, go through the process. We just donated it to the community. But um. Oh wow! The land, um, in Tonga. So the further you get out, like the further you go to the bush, the further you go to away from the city. You know, it's very cheap. So the the land that we have now that we're we're built we're, we're building our cabin on, um, we pay what six hundred thousand t shillings, which is maybe two hundred and fifty two hundred and sixty dollars for and that 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 was a quarter acre. Um, but we mountain range. It's a popular mountain range. 
So it's going to be a little bit more. So if we went down to the bottom of the mountain, I'm pretty sure it'll probably be a little bit cheaper. Um, you can find land in Tonga um, for, you know, 500,000 T-shillings, which is close to $200, $250 for like an a, a acre, a hectare, and, and things like that. So land here, it's, it's a process. Just make sure you have the lawyer. Make sure you have everything in order. Make sure you have somebody that you trust that that knows that process don't just go to somebody and say hey you sell the land because anybody can come to you and say yeah i'm selling land and you you never know what's going on with that land the mm. land might can, can have somebody else's name on it and they don't know anything about it so it's always good to come over here have a lawyer and things like that have somebody right by your side that you know understand english understand the government understand everything that's going on so when you Going through that process, make sure you have somebody that you trust. They say things are a little slower. <laughs> like that, this, you have to be more patient over there. That's true, right? Oh yeah, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. look, look. I, I just, um, just for example, the example today. <laughs> say today. So, uh, I wanted to buy some soil from because my neighbor they got soil. Um, and I asked him, Hey, where, where did you get this soil? So I can start, you know, gardening here at home. And the person came yesterday to, to dump the soil at my house, but I was, I was out and I, I didn't get back in time. So I called him back and said, Hey, could you come at, um, I mean, I'm sorry. So Swahili Kidogo. That means mm -hmm. like a little, so I always like mixed stuff. Um, but I said, could you come at a, like 11 AM? You know, because I will have the money to pay you. You can dump it. I will be here. Um, what time is it here? It's, it's 4. It's, it's almost 4.30. You know, I called them earlier and said, hey, are you coming? It's it's 11 o'clock. I'm thinking that we, you said that you'll come, you know, 11. It's 4.30. So they still haven't came. So oh, it's very, they, 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 they take their time. They, they're pretty much on their own time. And it's, it's really okay. Like, I'm not stressing. I'm not. Of course, at 11 o'clock, I'm like, oh, they're supposed to be here. Oh, where they at? Let me call them. But after that, it's just like, dang, they're not probably going to show up today, maybe tomorrow. You know, so everything is slower when it comes to processes. Um, just say if you want to start your business and stuff, that's going to be slow. Um, fast food is going to be slow. Um, just everything. Slow? Well, yeah, fast food is not fast food. It's, it's slow food. So huh. just... <laughs> Really, uh, the, you just gotta work on your patience. Everything is is okay. And that and that, that's how people live live here. Like, hey, why are you stressing? Just relax for a second. You know, you'll get your food in twenty minutes. It's okay. So that's what it is. Like, really, I just went to go get food and rush back. I left at one. No, I, I left at two, and I got back maybe at. Um, I would say almost three thirty. Three thirty, yeah. and that's just because and that's because food was uh, taking it slow. But I realized, hey, it's it's okay. I'm gonna get my food, and it's gonna be okay. Um, you know, you gotta be careful too, because if you like, hey, where's my food, and you start acting crazy, you never know what they do. So you just right. you know, relax and enjoy. Enjoy the, the fresh air, enjoy just everything. So, yeah. What do you think is the best choice for them to move forward with that situation? So, so you're saying like possessions, like they ship stuff yes, over there? Yes, yes, yes. yes. Just, pre just pretty much their life. Just their, they just Basically. move. Yeah. yeah. They move. Yeah. You know, you know, for us, it's, it's hard to say because, you know, a lot of times our, our people, they, they move off fear, you know, mm -hmm. and that's hard. It's very hard. I'm not trying to say anything about anybody, but mm -hmm. that's what I was saying. Even, even for me, my wife, just everybody, it's just like, okay, are we moving off fear? When when things go wrong, are we counting it as a blessing? Or are we looking at it as like, okay, why is this happening? Is this going to help us grow? You know, you know, growth, it don't, it don't happen without, you know, having that little pain, having that little just uncomfortableness. So 
if you're uncomfortable, that's that's just a sign of growth. You know, you can't, you know, cast a lot, as you say. Um, you really just have to accept the the things that's happening and realize what the most high is trying to do. You always gotta pray fast. If if you if you're going through stuff, just fast, pray, ask the most high, seek the most high's voice and see what he's really trying to do. Because I know a lot of people that comes over here and does that. But it really depends how you react. It really depends if you're gonna pivot and keep going with the most high or pivot and you know complain. You know, you really can't complain because nothing, especially if you're taken care of, you know, if you, you haven't gone through a lot of stuff that people are going through in this in these last days, you have to know it's a blessing. Because like little things like that where it's like like we we talking right now, you know, it's, this is just a blessing. Right. It's a blessing. To me, it's a blessing to me because I'm accepting what you got to say and just everything that you're doing in your life, bro. So it's a blessing. You're 23, you're, you're most high is speaking to you. You know, you got the understanding to know what's really going on and, and you really want to do this. Um, but the things that's happening in your life right now, it's, it's going to work for the better. It's going to work for the better because oh, like yeah. 23... I was 23. Well, I was, I was 23. What? Man, that was that was like 50 years ago. No, I'm like me. I'm I'm 29 right now, but 23. I'm trying to think. Like, man, yeah, that that was about the time like we started to really talk about Africa. But it's like, man, that's it's a, it's a blessing that you that young and you really want to do this. So. You know, just keep going, man. Just keep going. The people that is talking, just, you know, you have to eat the meat and spit out the bones. That's really it. You know, it's, it's, it's no more milk. It's, it's no more milk. No more maziwa for, for people. No more milk. So if you really focus on the maziwa, maziwa you're really trying to see. Yeah, 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 oh. yeah. Okay. yeah. So you really got to eat that meat because it's going to be tough. You know, meat is tough. To swallow, you know, you gotta chew it up, chew it up, and it's it's little things like that where it's it's time for our people to eat the meat, go through those tough situations, chew the tough situations up, keep moving forward, you know, and may, maybe after you can drink a little milk, but <laughs> at the same time, it's like it's 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 gonna get tougher and tougher. It's not it's it's, it's not gonna be easy for our people. No, no, you explained it very well. I feel better now. All things work together for good, right? Right. It's that trust the most high. So now I know I gotta get my work talent first. Then I gotta okay. All right, then one thing at a time. Um, even even I'll say a, a good thing might be for you if you want to come here for school. You know, look into that because you can come here and, and learn Swahili. Just make sure the school is is uh, together. Just make sure everything, the documentation is is good. So since you're yeah for school, you can come over here, and that's two years. Just say if you want to come and learn Swahili, that's okay. That's really okay. okay. So that might be I, an option just out of university, right? Yeah, just yeah. Yeah, so that that might be a good thing. You already got your documentation. You got your degree. Um, and you never know, you really might can do continue school over here. See, I look into that. That's actually not a bad study abroad. You got a good setup if you, you know, really do your research and know what's what's really going on. All right, yeah. I got it. Okay, I got you. Well, what's your name? Yeshai. Yeshai, brother Yeshai, many, you know, my name is Spencer. So. It was, I really appreciate the time that you took to help me out. It's very helpful. So, yeah. yeah. No problem. And keep me in your prayers, please. I'll keep you in your prayers. Yeah. Because, yeah, I need that. Let's wait, 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 wait. Question. I, yeah. I see all the photos in the back. What did you run and track? Oh. Oh, the, the, the 400 meters and the 200. Ah, 200. Uh -huh. well, you well, 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 yeah, we about to talk. So, oh, okay. Hundred. Before it was, a, I was a forty-nine ten, but I was a forty-seven six. Oh, yeah. 
you, you would have got me. I say my, my best was 49.88. Yeah. That's not bad. You broke 50. That's all that matters. Yeah. yeah. That's good. So the 200. Oh, oh the 200 was a 22, 2288. 22, okay. Yeah. Got you on that one. I got you. I, yeah. I 21.3. Yeah. 21.3. You had 21. Nice. Wow, you were close to 20 point. Oh, man. man. That's crazy. Yeah. Man, I, I was too tall. I'm 6'6", so, like, my start, um, yeah. bad. Bro, like, it's bad. But I always have a great finish. Yeah, yeah. that's why the swimming do is better for me. Yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm what? I'm 5'8". So, I was, I, was a, I was just hustling. I, was, I tried to get it, yeah. You got the power too, huh? Nice. Yeah, okay. That's good. That's good, bro. Well, so, all right then, man. I pray and hope that you have a good rest of your day, and yes. I'll keep in touch. Yeah, right? for sure. Um, you're in a group. Um, yeah. So I would tell my wife to message you. Do, do, do you yeah, yeah, you have WhatsApp, so. Um, yeah. I tell my wife to message you my, my WhatsApp number because I, I just have a local phone. Okay. So they know I'm good. They they will hit me up and stuff like that. So like I say, once we're off the call, I will get your number. I will message you. Um, and yeah, bro, it, it was good talking to you, bro. It was good talking yeah. to you. It was a pleasure for real. I yeah. feel less stressed. And I feel yeah. calmer. You know? No stress. No stress. Just bliss. You know? Right. No stress. Keep going, you know, seek that peace. Seek that peace. Because it's, it's crazy now. It's crazy. So, yeah. yeah. All right, then. Take care. Yes, no problem, bro. You you, you be blessed. Yeah, you too. All right, shalom. Shalom.